Scott DeUsa with Tether Tools, and in this video I'm going to show you the barcode feature of Smart Shooter 4 Pro. Now the barcode feature could be used in a number of different ways, but most likely in some sort of a high volume photography uh, situation. If you're a school photographer, for example, you might want to use the barcodes to keep track of the school, the student, um, the grade, the teacher, all that sort of information. So let me show you how it works and we'll go into a little bit of a live situation and, uh, and show you what it can do for you. Uh, so let's take a look at Smart Shooter 4 Pro. And in Smart Shooter 4 Pro, as you can see here, I've, I've been doing some uh, barcode tests and I'm going to open up the preferences. And the very first thing I wanna do is show you that the barcode tab, auto scan barcodes needs to be turned on. So go ahead and turn that on. And then the next most important thing is going to be our name policy. Now inside the name policy, if you look at the photo file name and the file name expression, you'll see something that has a bracket Z and a bracket S4. So what does that really mean? Well, what I want to do is I want to have every file name that comes into this program be generated by what it reads in the barcode that it's going to be reading. We're going to be reading QR codes for this. Uh, they work great and they're really easy to uh, to uh, work with. Um, so what we have here is if you want to use one of these modifiers below, the very first thing I want to use is the barcode one. So you use a bracket around the Z. Z is for barcode. So I have a bracket Z and then I use an underscore. Underscores are, are pretty normal in file names. And then I have a bracket S4. Now as you'll see, S is the sequence number um, and what the four means is that it's going to give me a four digit um, sequence number. So you can have S just be by itself and it'll give you a single digit. Um, but you know, if you've got a lot of students to shoot, uh, you might, you know, need a four digit number. So bracket S4 after the bracket Z is what I'm going to use to populate the file names. So then what you say is you say, okay. And from here, you'll notice at the top of my screen in the image info area, I have the test that I've been doing that says school underscore grade underscore teacher, underscore student, underscore sequence number. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a quick picture and show you that as I go up in sequence number, the sequence number will start to rise. Now, the nice thing is, is that each student can have their own barcode to this. And uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go over to a situation now and uh, we're gonna show you sort of a, kind of a, a live scenario of how this works. So in this scenario, we have some students being photographed in a studio. For each student is being photographed with a QR code, which will populate the school name, the grade, the teacher, and the student name. And then the sequence number, as I showed you in the preference settings, will follow that, okay? So let's take a look. The photographer takes the first picture of the first student with the QR code specific to them in the frame. Okay, all you have to do is just put the QR code in the frame and take a picture of it. You can see that the file name for that image is based on the QR code description. Then each image after that uses the same information for the file name. Okay, then the next student comes up. And so you take a picture of the next student with their uh, specific QR code. And then the file name for that student changes the file name in the program, and that stays the same until the next student is photographed. So as you can see, each name will change the, uh, the file name, and the, and the sequence number will keep going up with each one of the students. So as you can see here, as the students are photographed, you can see that it's easy to photograph a large number of subjects and keep the shoe organized by using the barcode feature in Smart Shooter 4 Pro. By scanning the barcode through the lens, there is no need for specialized camera gear. You don't need a special barcode reader, you don't need a special camera or special firmware like you used to in the past. Just turn the feature on, put the barcode in the frame, take a picture of it, and let Smart Shooter 4 do the work for you. So if you're a photographer that does a lot of high volume photography, let Smart Shooter 4 Pro help your workflow with its easy to use barcode feature. So I wanna remind you to subscribe to the Tether Tools YouTube channel for more great videos on how to use Smart Shooter. And thanks for watching.